This is just coming out. Um, folks, again, I want to be very clear with uh, today's program. Um, there's a lot of information coming out very quickly. Um, it's impossible for me to give you accurate, 100% accurate details that is not available to anybody at this time. Um, so I just want, you know, I'm just, I want to make you make sure that you don't come away from anything I say in this program, knowing something as a fact, nothing here is, is, is factual, uh, yet uh the like i'm reading a report here this that was just published one minute ago uh on the independent in regards uh to what's going on in chernobyl um so i'm going to read this article here uh this morning i was seeing some info uh where russian troops have they're they're you know they're invading ukraine um and they are in the area of chernobyl as well as other nuclear uh facilities nearby and other stuff um, and so a lot of people online have said that the fighting uh, of the war has already caused some reaction. Again, I don't know. I'm not there. I, there's no way for me to know that. Um, and I don't want to spread misinformation uh, that is potentially dangerous. Um, but uh, I want to read this article here. Fighting breaks out close to Chernobyl nuclear waste facility, says Ukrainian president. Uh, and so this is from the independent, um, I'm going to be using a wide variety of sources, uh, for this kind of stuff. I want to see what all kinds of outlets in the ways that they're framing things, uh, to me is, is, is interesting because again, um, one of the biggest parts of what's been going on here is a propaganda war. Uh, Vladimir Putin has been fighting a propaganda war, uh, against the United States and the West, uh, you know. Pretty much his entire life, really. But, like, especially over the last uh, decade or so, he has definitely ramped up the propaganda warfare. Um, and it's important to understand that, like, we don't know exactly what's going on. We don't know what, you know. You need to understand that we we need to have some humility sometimes. Like, we don't have all the info here. Uh, and people need to be uh, willing to not draw conclusions based on information that we don't have complete pictures of. Russian soldiers have entered the area surrounding the former nuclear power plant at Chernobyl, the president of Ukraine has said. Volodymyr Zelensky, which, by the way, excellent name. Excellent name. Volodymyr Zelensky. I said this last time. Like, if I ever have a child, I'm going to name my child Volodymyr Zelensky because that's just a cool name. Uh, confirmed that Ukrainian troops were fighting the Russian army, which had reached the area from the direction of Belarus. Reminder, Belarus. They're just having... Um... They're just having, uh, you know, some military training. They're just over there. They're training. They're just, you know, it's like field day, like in elementary school. Uh, it's just field day. Do I have a video? I don't, I have some videos queued up that I'm going to get to in a second here. Um, but I'm just reading information, Ugh, information first. Russian occupation forces are trying to seize the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Our defenders are giving their lives so that the tragedy of 1986 will not be repeated. Mr. Zelensky said, this is a declaration of war against the whole of Europe, the president added. Well, okay, so I, I would presume that Zelensky is saying that because uh, he considers Ukraine to be part of Europe, Europe being separate from Russia. Um... To me, I like, again, can we talk about the fact that, okay, what is all of this for? Like, one, borders are dumb. Anyone that thinks borders are real is stupid. Two, this is like a whole ethnostate bullshit. Like, this is like Russia is trying, or like Putin is trying to build an ethnostate of like, you know, the motherland of all Russians or something. Like, we need to be honest here. Like, this is like, this is like literally a Nazi takeover of europe i mean like, like i don't like, i'm not trying to sound an alarm here but when the guy is saying oh ukraine is technically russian because they're ethnically russian okay i don't give a fuck if they're ethnically russian what like i'm ethnically european i'm not european motherfucker <laughs> like i don't who cares about your fucking ethnicity um so like again this guy is, is trying to build a, a like again it's like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's not good, okay? And again, they're at Chernobyl. 
The development comes hours after Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. At the start of the conflict, Russia targeted air bases and military infrastructure in at least 25 Ukrainian cities in a bid to neuter the capabilities of the Ukrainian Air Force. Um, so again, uh, there's not much info here. Uh, but they are at Chernobyl. I have seen some reports uh, that things are not going so well in Chernobyl. Um, I don't, again, I don't know enough about the information here. Um, I don't, you know, I'm just giving you what, what is there for me at the time. I don't want to make any declarative, definitive statements. I don't want people to be misinformed by this program. Um, so, not good, folks. Not good.